pelvic organ prolapse, otherwise known as vaginal prolapse, is a very common condition among women, and it is a condition due to compromised pelvic organ support. This compromised support in turn causes uncomfortable vaginal bulging and uh, pressure within the vaginal canal. There are different terms that we use to describe prolapse depending on the portion or portions of the vaginal wall that are affected. Cystocele is the most common type of prolapse and refers to the anterior vaginal wall being affected and causing a bulge with the bladder directly behind it. Rectocele and enterocele are terms that we use to describe prolapse of the posterior vaginal wall. If the top of the vagina is affected, we call this uterine prolapse. However, if the woman has had a hysterectomy previously, then it's called vault prolapse. The most common symptoms associated with prolapse are a bothersome vaginal bulge and vaginal pressure. Prolapse can also cause bladder and bowel dysfunction, as well as negative sexual symptoms. The chief risk factor for developing prolapse is a history of vaginal delivery. Age, menopause status, and also previous hysterectomy can also contribute. Additionally, any condition that causes consistent intra-abdominal pressure increases can also cause increased risk for developing prolapse. And these conditions include chronic straining with constipation, repetitive heavy lifting, chronic cough, and even being overweight. During menopause, a woman's body experiences a significant decline in overall estrogen production, and this causes generalized tissue changes, and especially weakness of the vaginal support structures and thinning of the vaginal tissue itself. There are both surgical and non-surgical treatment options available for pelvic organ prolapse. Non-surgical options include pelvic floor strengthening exercises, as well as pest reuse. Pelvic floor strengthening exercises can typically be performed in consultation with a pelvic floor physical therapist to help rehabilitate and strengthen the pelvic floor muscles that support all of the different organs. Pessaries are another non-surgical option. They are small silicone devices that come in a number of different sizes and shapes, and they support the vaginal organs from within. They do require some responsibility on the part of the patient, meaning that in a best case scenario, the patient would place it every morning and remove it every evening. There are also surgical options available for the treatment of pelvic organ prolapse, and this is considered pelvic reconstructive surgery. This can be performed either through the vagina, laparoscopically, or through an open abdominal incision. While prolapse is not life-threatening, it can cause significant distressing symptoms and have negative impacts on quality of life, self-confidence, and body image. If you're suffering from prolapse, please discuss this with your physician and consider consultation and referral to a urogynecologist to further discuss your treatment options. We can help you manage these symptoms and discuss different treatment options that are available and improve your quality of life and day-to-day -day function.